Hello, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. In this video, I'm going to talk about what I personally would do if I was manifesting marriage this year. What steps would I personally take? Before I jump in, I want you to know that my course I do is on sale just for a little bit longer. The price is discounted 40%. It's a really big discount. And it also, if you join right now, you will get two live group coaching calls with me, which I really don't ever offer. So if you know that you want to manifest being engaged, being married this year, now is definitely the time to take the course. The link is directly below in the description. It's also in the comment below. So if I personally were to manifest being married this year, if I were to go through the process again, what would I personally do? Well, the first thing I would do would I was is I would claim the outcome that I wanted. So this is the end result. What end result are you wanting? We're wanting to get married. So not only would I claim it like I just want to get married, but I'd get really clear on what that meant. What does that mean to get married? What does that mean to me? To me, it means I'm in a relationship where I love my partner and my partner loves me. To me, it means we're fully committed together and I can really feel our commitment. Maybe it means we're buying a house. Maybe it means we're having a baby. Maybe it means we're going on a honeymoon. I get really clear about all the things it meant to get married. As much as I personally knew at the time, that's what I would get clear on. So what I'm saying is you don't have to know all the details but get clear on what is your end result and what does it really mean to you. Number two, I would get clear on who I was manifesting marriage with. Who is that person? What are they like? I'd list out the things they think. What do they think about me? What do they think about our relationship? How do they show up in the relationship? All the details about who that person is. It doesn't matter if you know that person now or you don't know that person now. You just want to get really clear on the version of the person that you want to marry. Who are they? And I get really clear on who you are. So who I was. Who am I as this person who is getting married? What thoughts do I think? What does it feel like? What is it like to walk around in my life as someone who's engaged? What is it like to be fully claimed by my person? What is it like to feel totally loved? What thoughts are there? I get very, very clear on these three aspects, the outcome, the other person, myself. I'd also get clear on what the relationship feels like. What is this relationship like? Uh, what types of things do we do together? What do we say to each other? You want to get really clear on all these aspects. And then once you're clear on what they are, you want to practice techniques that are taking you into the imaginal space of, of already being in this relationship and the engagement is happening now. The marriage is happening now. Using your imagination to manifest marriage is really important. You want to bring in all your senses. And so great techniques you can use to imagine being in this marriage First, imaginal acts. What is that? You're going to close your eyes and just, let's say for one minute, you're going to imagine yourself at the altar with your husband and you both are saying, I do. And you want to really feel what is that experience like? It probably is going to feel really good. Maybe it'll bring a tear to your eye. Whatever it feels like is great, but take yourself fully there. Inner conversations is another incredible technique to take yourself into the wish fulfilled. Hear your partner saying, I want to be with you. There is no one else like you on the planet. You are the person for me. Really take yourself into that. And do this over and over and over again using all this information you gathered about who you are, who's your person, what's the relationship like, what's the end result. Go into the, your imaginal acts over and over and over again using scripting, using inner conversations, using acting as if so you can really feel the end result. As you start to embody that end result over and over and over again, it's going to start to feel familiar to you. It's going to feel like, yes, I can have this. Yes, this is going to happen. And when all that happens, you are very close to manifesting this outcome for yourself. So if you want to learn exactly how to manifest marriage this year, if you want to go through the deep dive process that I personally went through, that many clients have gone through and who have had results of manifesting marriage, which you can read about on the page link directly below, um, definitely join now. Again, the link is below in the description and in the comment, and I will see you there. Bye.